Hi and welcome back to another episode of Fresh Debut. Like the title says, in this one we're gonna be looking at the debut of Treasure, which was long overdue. I think it was like two years in the making since, you know, they had their survival show, Treasure Box. It's just, you know, typical for YG, unfortunately, so... It's kind of sad that we're a little bit used to, you know, waiting this long for debuts or comebacks with that company. I have to say that I didn't watch Treasure Box, so I have basically no idea who Treasure is, like all the members and everyone. I saw their pre-debut performance video or song release, I'm not so sure, I think it's both in a way. And I of course heard Yedams, which is one of the uh, members of Treasure's solo debut, which was Weyo. And let me tell you, this that song is a gem. It's really, really beautiful. His voice is amazing. And I heard that he went viral actually during, I think he was even in, in Stray Kids' reality show, that one, the first one where they also got formed where his little audition went viral or where they went against each other went viral. That's basically all the knowledge right there. So as always with this fresh debut episodes, we're gonna start with watching the profiles of each member and then watch the teasers. And then at the end, of course, react to their debut music video. So without further ado, let's just jump right in and start with the members. Okay, as always, we're on K profiles. So if um, one fact is wrong or is missing about the members, please let me know down in the comments below so we can get that right out of the way so we don't spread any false facts. Let's go in. So treasure is made of the members from the survival show of YG's Treasure Box. The group consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, so that's why they were previously known 13. So they were actually pr first known as Treasure 13, then one member left because of the musical direction that just didn't match with what he wanted to do. So. Um, now they're only 12, so they can't call themselves Treasure 13. They have Instagram account, Twitter, then a Twitter for members, in which they probably can, you know, be a little bit more connected with their fans. They have a Facebook, a VLive, and a YouTube. Then their fandom name, which is already set, is Treasure Makers. Makes sense. <laughs> So uh, yeah, let's go ahead with the first one, which is Choi Hyun Suk. He has an English name, actually, I just saw that, Daniel Choi. He's the leader, rapper and dancer, 1999, wow. Um, already a year younger than me, that feels really great. <laughs> He's been a trainee of YG for three years. Was that before Treasure Box or with Treasure Box? Hyunsook can speak a bit of English, that would make sense if he has an English name. <laughs> or is it one of, of the ones that they joke if they were in, in um, America, how they would call themselves? Maybe it's that. He collects lip palms. Hyunsook is a former Mix 9 trainee. He ranked 5th and was would have been in the debuting team. Oh my god, that's shit. <laughs> Like, th that was Mix 9, it was also a YG reality show that then at the end was a huge failure. Oh, now here we have it. He actually trained for five years as of July 2020. Next up, we got Chion. Chion is the second leader. Okay, they have like former units, so maybe that's the reason why. But he is the second leader, dancer and vocalist. 2000, baby. Here we go. <laughs> he appeared in the Stray Kids episode, that JYP and YG battle that I was talking about in the beginning. He started training in YG in 2016, which is now also four years already. He got the most votes as most promising entertainment star. Ooh, interesting. He can hold his breath for a minute and 30 seconds. God damn, boy. <laughs> wow, that's cool. I can like do... 40 seconds, I think, was my highest till now. Next up, we got Yoshi. Yoshi is 
a rapper and dancer. He is a Japanese member, also a Foo Thousands baby. His hobbies are skating, graffiti and watching anime. Knows how to beatbox. Ooh, I would love to see a video of him beatboxing. I I love beatboxing. It's always it's always been something that I wanted to learn too. He also likes to write songs and compose beats. So they they can do their own stuff more or less. He passed his YG audition in March 2016. So he's also been a trainee for four years. Then we have Yunkyu. Yunkyu is also a Foo Thousands baby. He's a vocalist and a visual. His nicknames are Koala and Handsome Koala because he thinks he looks like a koala when he smiles. Yeah, his eyes! I can see that when he smiles that his eyes really form into that. He has been training for five years, god damn. He got the most votes as physical genius. They said Junkyu is very tall and his broad shoulders also his long legs are long and slim, so he has just the perfect body, basically. He was a contestant on Mix 9-2, he ranked 35th. Oh wait, he started to train in 2003, th three, wow, 2013, so it's been already seven years. So he started when he was 13. Wow, that's dedication. Then we got Mashiho. Mashiho is dancer, vocalist, visual, 2001. He's Japanese. He trained for five years. The three words he used to describe himself are sexy, modest and confident. How could you say modest when the first thing that you say is sexy? <laughs> no, <I'm> kidding. <laughs> and confident, I can definitely see that just by the three words he uses to describe himself. Mashiho wants to become a singer that helps people have fun and enjoy themselves. He's left-handed. And then again, um, he trained for seven years actually. So um, he also got into YG in 2013 already. So they really have to update those two. It's a little confusing having always two timers, how long they train. So yeah. <laughs> Next up, we got Jan Chehyuk. He's a rapper and vocalist. He's a 2001. He was streetcasted for YG after school. He is really a pretty boy. He is... Yeah, I can see why he got streetcasted. He's also left-handed. He was eliminated from the show in episode 9, but brought back. So kind of a Momo return that he did there, that YG pulled. He says that he's a playful and mischief, mischievous, mischievous? Wow, I can't pronounce that person. His heart flutters when he's with someone who smells nice. Hmm. I, my heart flutters when someone is just being nice to me, so... <laughs> he trained for almost three years, so till now the least amount from everyone. Next up we got Asai. I love that name. I already like him just because of that name, Asai. That's so cool. Asai is a vocalist and 2001, he's Japanese. Asai's motto is good attitude, good mood and good music. Same, nearly same to me, man. What the hell? <laughs> I have good vibes, good food, good music, but you know, it's the same more or less. <laughs> he taught himself how to self-compose when he was in middle school. Asahi hobbies are composing, soccer and drawing. I played soccer too a little bit. His three phrases are music is everything, R&B and sweat robot. Asahi trained also for almost three years. Then we go to the one that I know the best till now, because he already had a solo debut, which is Bang Yedam. He is a vocalist, 2002, just, you know, really young. <laughs> His nicknames names are Dami and Yedami. He appeared also in the Stray, Stray Kids survival show. He trained for six years. Almost eight, actually. I just watched down here. He trained for seven years, almost eight, as of July 2020. Yedam is proved to be an amazing composer and even got credited for a so couple songs from Sexies. Sexies? Sex? I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that. Sexies? Should I pronounce it like a Swiss person would? <laughs> he composes songs with Doyang and says that Doyang is his best partner. 
He's very active and he likes trying to make friends, so really outgoing, so totally different from me. <laughs> and uh, his English name is Kyle. Not really my favorite, but hey. Next up, we got Doyang, so the best partner of Yedam. He's a dancer and vocalist. 2003. <sighs> I knew it would get younger and younger, but it still hurts every single time. He started training at YG when he turned 11 in 2015. <sighs> Damn, boy. Doyong says his main attraction point is his agio. Yeah, I can see that he has really like squishy cheeks a little bit. Those are always really important <laughs> when you want to have a lot of agio. His three things to describe himself are bling bling, little cutie and full of agio. He was voted second most fashionista in the group. His motto is challenges don't have an end. His English name is Sam. Like it a little bit more than Kyle. So <laughs> now we got to Haruto, love his name. Asai and Haruto have like the coolest names ever, I'm sorry man. 2004, Japanese, he's a rapper and visual, oh I just hit myself. His mom is a huge fan of Big Bang and has a lot of Big Bang merchandise. He thinks that Hyunsuk has the best visual compared to the others, but he thinks that his visuals beat Hyunsuk. <laughs> oh, I like him. He thinks his charm is that he has a handsome face, long legs, and attractive eyes. Yeah, the first feature that like really stuck out to me of him next to his name was his eyes. Then we got Park Chang Wu. Park Chang Wu is a vocalist. 2004. Wait, he was already. Yeah, we're still in 2004. <laughs> he is left handed too. He has never missed a day of practice. Wow, dedication right there. His strong point is that he can make his voice sound really powerful. He said, I'll try my best to touch people with powerful high notes. Three expressions to describe him are great reactions, great singer and tan skin. Chung Wu trained for almost three months. Three months, what? Wow. For almost three years. His English name is Justin. Like it a little more than Kyle Sam. Next up, we got So Chang Wan. He's the vocalist and Makne, so we got to the last one. He's an Aquarius. Let's go, Aquarius. He's a 2005 baby. But he doesn't look like a Makne. He, he really, really has more charismatic features. Like, there's, it's always interesting. Maknes either are really, really. You know, we really see that they're the youngest ones, but now in this picture, he doesn't really look like the youngest one. Chango was in K-Tigers and is really good at acrobatics. I want to see him flip. His nickname is Slav. Um, same bro, same. Three things describing himself are sparkling eyes, persistent and attractive side. Chango's motto is don't make efforts go in vain. That's a really good one. His attraction point are his sharp jawline and hooked nose. And that's what I mean. He really has that, yeah, really charismatic face because of that sharp jawline. He trained for nearly also three years as of July 2020. That were all the 12 members of Treasure. Please don't expect from me already knowing everyone by name and also putting it to the right face. I really take it I take some time, especially with bigger groups, like you with 12, which is huge. But now, just from the first reaction, first time going through everyone, the ones that actually stuck out or stuck with me the most are Osai and Haruto because of those names. Then Doyoung with his really cute side. And uh, I think Yedam too really stuck out to me the most. And I think the first one, I think um, Hyunsuk has also something that really sticks out to me. So that's it with the members' profiles for now. Now we're gonna go ahead and react to the teasers. Okay, so since this video is already really, really long, I have to really decide what I'm gonna react to. They have like a lot of stuff. They have the solo debut of Yedam in here. They have a lot of behind the scenes, eye talks and, you know, vlogs in here, which I think is really important for a group that is debuting to let the 
people already have a feeling for the members so you know they already have a connection and a reason to check out the debut itself of course people already know them they have the advantage of you know the reality series that they were on that um that one so people already knew who they were so they could do so many behind the scenes shows and knew that people will be interested in those things normally when a group is just debuting they just have you know some teasers and maybe some appearances like weekly some episodes of, but not th that much as treasure did then again it's two years in the making so the ones we're gonna watch is the debut concept teaser the introduction film then the boy choreography trailer then the boy music video teaser and then the music video itself yeah let's go with the debut concept teaser that was released two weeks ago and yes i know they had a pre-debut performance video music video song like i said way too much stuff so we're just gonna react to the stuff that are related to the debut song itself there are discoveries to be made in everyday life Ooh, whose voice is that? It's really good pronunciation, better than me. This cover is one makes our heart beat like crazy. Because we can dream about the new world, we will create. Okay, it's like a lab, a mixing lab. So we're about to take our first step towards the new world. Mm -hmm. It is in the teaser video if they don't run. It's like something that's really consistent. Or walk. Shaking Cold the world, dust. going the everywhere. Ah, oh, it's like the butterfly effect, basically. But now they just call it the treasure effect. But I like also that the symbol has the same motion in there with that spreading out. The concept itself, it really gave me, of course, that hip hop influence. That of course YG, you know, YG is the most hip hop label hip hop company from the big three four especially okay big hit now yeah is too right now lately not so much but um used to be a lot more hip hop <laughs> with bts so i get a lot from there i also get like you know them them being self made idols as like they can produce a lot of them can produce and they show that with the lab mixing stuff you know trying new things so that's what this teaser gave me basically so we're gonna go ahead and watch the treasure introduction film <laughs> Oh, we got a little relay of each member. Oh, he's cute though. Yoshi. So cute. Mashi. So cute. Asai. Yo, he's dope though. Look at him. Yedan. Oh yeah, cute. How the oh damn, bro. Okay, yeah. So one. Damn. Okay, okay. We got a little relay from each member and the date, of course, of their. The debut music video which is today. Next up we got the choreography trailer which is actually two minutes. So we're probably gonna see some behind the scenes which I always love. That's one thing that I'm kind of missing from the K-pop groups. I really love to see the behind the scenes of how they learned the choreography and how long they learned it. So I'm always happy when I see that and see how everything came to be, how hard they worked because 
It makes also other people outside of the dancing world realize how hard it is to learn so certain steps that look easy. I'm really excited for this, so let's go ahead and watch that one. Okay. Oh, oh. Interesting. D Day till debut. Oh. That's when the pressure gets on. Actually, boy, you know, was also the debut title, so, title name for the boys' debut song, so I always get reminded of that every time I hear boy. <laughs> oh, this is getting me hyped up. Ooh. Ooh. If if like you know now now they're putting up now they have to deliver that that they're like hyping up right now. <laughs> Who's gonna fly across stage? Who? What? <laughs> now I wanna see someone fly across the stage, goddammit. This one just get, got me hyped for the choreography itself. Now, now they have to deliver if they hype me up with, you know, saying how dope the choreography is and how complicated it is and how hard it is. Now I want to see that. Now I want to be like, oh my god, that's crazy. So um, now they put the bar up a little bit. So without further ado, we're gonna go watch the music video teaser of Boy. Ooh, okay, that gave me I am the best vibes with the hammer and everything. Okay, so each each of them have a little bit of a different concept going for them. Like I saw some having really dark concepts. And then the one I think that was Doyoung who had a really brighter one. So I think they're gonna go for, you know, each having another concept another charm and then at the end they mix together really well blended together i think i'm not gonna stretch this video out any further we're just gonna go ahead and react to the music video itself of treasure's debut single the boy no the boy boy <laughs> Really colorful. Oh. You're my special treasure, yeah. Oh, oh. That looks interesting. Those changes. Here we have the typical YG drop, of course. Cute! He's 
ist der Taruto? Yo! Bro! Oh, they're doing the, um, how do you call that, the mirror effect where you have to dance against them, someone else, and then you don't, can't, you can't lose focus. It's really hard actually if you have to dance, not mirrored, but you know, um, just your choreography against each other. Hey. Ooh. That was a nice move right there. Who is him in the front though? He is freaking dope. Is that Hyun Hyunsu? Because his rapping was dope too with the green hair. Okay, interesting. I hope I'm not gonna get thrown, uh, get hated on for this, saying this, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of how you like that, of like the the whole setup of the song, you know, the verse, then the chorus drop, kinda. Then again verse with the rap parts in it, then a little singing pre-chorus, then the chorus with the drop again, then having a slower and a more down bridge, and then after that coming in with a slightly different drop. And it kinda, this one reminded me just because of that, oh, na na na, it kinda reminded me of that, do 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 because I think it had the same BPM in it, so I really got reminded of that and it, you really see where the formula of YG is going to with the songs, which is nothing bad, the song is really really solid, I have actually nothing against the song. I have to get a little bit more used to the drop, like the first time I, it came on I was like, eh, I don't know if it's gonna work, then already the second time I didn't mind it, so I think if I listen to it one, two more times I will like the song a lot. Because even though YG is really formulaic now with their song, especially with Blackpink a little bit, they still hit every time, you still get turned up every time and in here too. The dance break looked freaking dope. I think that was Hyun Sok, right? That's his name in the beginning, um, in the front. Him with the green hair. He stuck out a lot. Um, then I think it was Haruto that stuck out to me a lot and him in the pink hair too. So those three were like the ones that stuck out in the music video for me the most. Especially Haruto with his deep voice. I think it's him. I hope it's him. When it's not him, please correct me so I know who stuck out to me actually. I hope they will push with Treasure to also different stuff, that it's just their debut song that's a little formulaic and then afterwards really try you know, a little bit going out there with the songs and the music styles because like I said, they have like, what, six members who can compose and write songs so I definitely think there's a lot more coming from them and I'm really pleasantly sur surprised with this debut. This was the episode of Fresh Debut with Treasure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit long, but you know, there are 12 members. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of Treasure's debut. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Be safe and don't forget to subscribe, like, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.